What's up guys, it's David here and exciting news today I'm making a game monster like the Uplay I'm just kidding It's not that advanced But yeah, today I'm gonna show you guys around Tell you guys about my project Basically what a normal devlog usually does So if you guys are interested Make sure to stick around and let's get started Alright, let's talk about the first part of the video which is how about how I came up with the idea for this project and what are the goals for this project if you personally know me or if you have been following my Instagram page then you will probably know that I love to make indie games and also I'm currently a student who is studying computer science and so naturally, for computer science student like me, uh, I like to explore ideas or possibilities of side projects that I can possibly do. So the idea of making a game launcher came to me one day when I was playing games on my computer. Usually I buy or play games, uh, PC games, from Steam or from Uplay. These are pretty common examples. and. Yeah, these launchers help a lot in keeping our games organized on our computer and it makes it easier for us to download or update our games. Yeah, I think game launchers are pretty cool. So that's basically it actually. That's how that's that's where my inspiration for this project came from. And besides, I have already made several indie games that I can use for this project. So yeah, it's 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 fit. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of the right time to 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 try and make this project. Now for the goals, the goal the goal is pretty simple actually. I want to make a game launcher that provides users with information or descriptions of each game that I have created for the PC platform. Now the launcher should let the users download and install the games directly and also update the game whenever it's necessary. But here's the most important thing. The most important thing is to make the user interface look good and intuitive. Because as a wise man once said, a useful app is not useful if it's not easy to use. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making this up. But it makes sense, right? So to achieve this goal, I have decided to go with WPF and c -sharp programming in Microsoft Visual Studio for this project. Why WPF? Because WPF is a very useful framework in creating Windows desktop applications. It lets developers create beautiful user interface in much more easier way. So I think I can achieve the look that I want to achieve for this app using this tool and besides besides uh, I'm already quite familiar with C sharp so yeah that's part of the reasoning of why I choose to go with WPF okay guys I won't bore you guys with some, with some more of this nonsense let's just um, let's just show you what I've been working so far working on so far and the current state of the project so right here in Visual Studio, um, these are the main codes of the main page and I'm just going to show you the main page over here. As you can see, this is the main window of the project ID Game Monster. Right here I just put random sentence to make it look cool, it really doesn't mean anything. And yeah, if we start this, if we run the project. Right here you can see that there are two tabs, first one is dashboard and second one is for game library. And this is the page, the main page for the dashboard. As I mentioned before, the sentence play like no others, scroll down for more. And over here is still blank, I plan to put some more cool stuff in the future. And at the 
the bottom there's a go to library button well this button basically does the same thing as if we press game library directly from the tab menu it leads us to the library page and the library page is where we showcase i mean where i showcase my games so i showcase three games that i've created agent baby snow yard and last line these are the games that i've made in uh, uh, that i made in game jams and if you guys are interested i'm gonna put the link in the description for you guys to download and play the games yourself so let's click at one of the game for example agent, ba agent baby as you can see this is the game page there's a there's the title the pictures and the game descriptions and there's a play button here it does uh, it's all the same in all of these three games I mean the same format and as you can see there's just an option to play the game there's really uh, the option to for example to download or update the games doesn't it doesn't exist yet in this project but of course that's one of the main goals that I plan to add to the project in the future so yeah the play game actually works and if we press play it will launch the game so let me just switch to the other screen because the game will launch in the other screen over here so if we wait a second it should be launching just about oh it's actually it's actually over here yeah it actually launched the game and let me switch back to the second screen yeah this play button works but that's basically just what it does it does nothing else <laughs> just 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 launch the game uh, but yeah that's the current state of the project I'm actu I actually kind of like the design I'm actually kind of proud that I can come up with this design but uh, yeah there's still so much more to add in the project Okay, I think it's about time to conclude the devlog today. But before I end the video, let me just tell you guys about uh, the future plans, the things that I want to add into the launcher, and also uh, show you guys some part that still needs to be fixed. So first up, of course, in the future, I'm gonna add uh, the download and install games feature. Um, that's the main goal when I when I decided to start this project so of course I'm gonna add that into the launcher and then after that I still plan to add some more things to this part of the page this empty part I don't know maybe like some cool graphics or anything basically I'm just gonna push my creative side and see what happens and the other thing is what needs to be fixed what needs to be fixed is actually on the library page well uh, if you take a look at it right now there's there's actually no feasible problem um, I'm just gonna uh, tell you uh, right now there are three games so yeah it's no problem but let's say we want to add the fourth and the fifth game then the problem will show up because I haven't implement a way in which the items will automatically place uh, set the position its positions to where it should be for example the fourth game should be here and the fifth game should be on the next row but uh, yeah I have implemented a way so uh, it won't work I think I think it will be easier easier if I just show you directly so if we go to the code and add the fourth and fifth game over here like 
that you can see that if we run the program you can see that the fourth game show up here but we cannot see the fifth game item which should be here yeah that's it um, this is the thing that needs to be fixed and I promise you in the second in the next devlog uh, this will be fixed already and okay I think that concludes the video for today um, if you if you are interested in this project it's available on github and you can check the link in the description and also if you like this kind of video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and one one last thing um, maybe just maybe if you guys are interested uh, I can make a step-by-step -step tutorial um, on this topic so make sure to leave your thoughts about that in the comment section and yeah that's the that's the video for today thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one